Hey Aries, how you doing? Welcome back to Healing to Go to Row. I just want to say that I thank you all for your love and support. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you want to book a person or you can look in the description box. We're going to get right into these messages. God, I ask you to use me as a vessel to turn the right messages at the right time for the right person in your time, divine timing. Um, I ask that you protect me and my audience as we dive into this energy. We love you. We appreciate you. And we're going to get right into it. So y'all channel message is you're the source of your own magic. Okay. I feel like I'm picking up on the energy of somebody who's like waiting or waiting for something to happen. When it's like spirit is ask, asking you to use your power. Use your magician power to create your own world. I feel like for somebody who you just been waiting, like in life, it's like you know something is owed to you. You know you deserve something. But it's more so like you need to put in emotion. I feel like you're slow. I'm hearing slow, slow to anger. But something about slow movement. Something could be moving very slow for you. I'm also getting energy of sabotage. I don't know if this is self-sabotage or this is someone around you trying to slow you down or sabotage something it is that you have. But for you to be the magician, Aries, which means you are the one with the power. You are the power source. Okay? Something about an, an electric bill could be very significant as well. Somebody could be worried about how they're going to pay their light bill. Okay. I'm also hearing detach. Detach from drama. For somebody here, you need to go to a botanical or crystal shop and take you a spiritual bath and get you some crystals. Get in, get the crystal that, that, that calls out to you. I'm hearing three. So you need three crystals. Something with tight in the back of it. I'm hearing magnetite. I don't even know if that's a real fucking crystal. I don't know. I'm also hearing um citrine. Okay. You got the two of swords. So I'm hearing split loyalty. There could be someone in your energy playing both sides. I also feel like for somebody here, you could be on the fence to something. on the fence about something yeah and it's causing some sort of mental anguish this may be in regards to a relationship for somebody here you could be re-evaluating what you've been investing your time in the seven of pentacles also speak to harvest i just heard your wishes are coming true i'm also hearing blind faith so it's not about what you see it's about what you feel I also heard spiritual battle. So it's like you're a you're a spiritual warrior. Excuse me. You could also be a spirit guide who help people fight spiritual battles. I'm also hearing something about like investing into your own emotions. I just heard reevaluation. Someone could definitely be reflecting on something. I'm also getting the energy of hypnosis here. It's like this person is blindfolded, but they're also getting vision. So it's giving me um, intuition vibes, especially, mm, especially with the moon here in the background. I'm also hearing water tides. Yeah, you got the king of cups here, water, queens of swords. So you could be going, I said queens of swords. So... I feel like for somebody here, spirit is asking you to change the female dynamic. If you're a masculine, I feel like spirit is asking you to change your vision of how you view females or the female. Um, I just heard the female genitalia. So somebody here could be just really all about sex or you could just be investing your, into your money. You invest in your time, your money into somebody just because they sexy. And for a female here, I feel like spirit is asking you to reevaluate the dynamic in which the females operate in your family. I feel like spirit is asking you to change that. Okay, because I'm getting a very bitter I'm also hearing possessive energy with the King of Cups. He could definitely be very possessive, emotionally possessive. This is someone who puts their all into it. And it's like, I put my all in this and that's it. You could put, you could pour your heart. You could pour your emotions. You could pour everything into something. And it's like you're holding on to it just because, or it's like, 
you you haven't yet released the emotions of what you've been through and what you used to invest your time in so it's like you in this queen of swords energy the queen of swords is also very sharp i'm also getting the energy of like a psychic investigator here because the queen of swords could definitely be a psychic with the justice card this is giving me investigation vibes this her and itself could be an investigator i'm also hearing something about someone reporting back to a lawyer or reporting back to the justice system Somebody you could also be receiving like government assistance or signing up for some sort of government assistance program. I definitely feel like somebody done went through a breakup. I'm also hearing find your pretty. So in an ugly situation, find your pretty. What else? This is gonna be a quick little 10 minute read. Okay. I also I'm hearing someone is pregnant here. Yeah, the seven of pentacles could definitely talk about pregnancy and seeds being planted. For somebody here, you could have a garden or something about eating from the earth and cleaning up your diet is very significant. I was also picking up a whole bunch of money. But I feel like this money isn't going to come to you until after you make a decision. And spirit is saying head over heart. If you notice, she got her hands over her heart with these swords so someone could also be guarding their heart and spirit is asking you to open your heart to something yeah i'm on the money high priestess you could also have a very keen intuition or something about listening to your intuition because i feel like there's a decision here that you've been going back and forth in your head about this could even be about a pregnancy yep you got the ace of cups and the ace of wands these could be twins a girl and a boy and now I'm hearing abortion. Like somebody here, you're on the fence or not, or whether or not you want to keep these children. Or you could already have twins and you're worried about how you're going to feed them. For somebody here, you're called to do something on stage. Or it's like you've been in acting or you've been a like performer ever since you were a child. And I just said something about children. Then you got the Ace of Swords here again. Sorry, I'm just picking cards from the back of this thing here. You got three aces, so this definitely speaks to new beginnings, but I feel like it's going to come after a time of you looking at something in a different perspective here. I'm hearing keep the baby, and then you got Empress with the world card here with the sun card. I feel like this is actually going to make you very happy. I also feel like I said, you do something that's seen here. This could be modeling. This could be acting. I definitely see you as the center of attention. Something about a son. Your son. The son. I'm also hearing the divine son. Now I'm getting that scene from Lion King when the, when the little boy was born. Because they had done birth a new generation of king. So that could be very significant. I'm hearing birthing a new generation. I'm hearing like you're pregnant with a king. Pregnant with a king who's going to lead the nation. So it's important for you to keep this child. I'm also hearing someone is going to cherish you or something about cherishing something. You could be really stressed out at this time, not really knowing what to do. But I do see new beginnings here for you. I also, I'm hearing a new opportunity is arising. Just keep going. I feel like you probably back and forth about this pregnancy because it's like you had a, you got pregnant from somebody that you're not with or you don't see yourself with. Or it's like, this could have even been like a one night stand. But with the high priestess, this is like listen to your intuition and use better judgment. You could even be a high priestess or someone that's very fucking intuitive, especially with the empress and the, um, the empress here with the high priestess. I'm hearing don't get your gifts taken away. I'm hearing use your better judgment. So you went from having your creativity in your hand or this passion for something. This could even be like you operating out of sex to now you got logic in your hand and doing what makes sense. If you aren't pregnant physically, this could be you pregnant with an idea or you're like something's gestating within you. 
and it's ready to be seen, okay? Because at one point, it could have been a mystery. But with the sun card and the empress, it's like pop out with that shit. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to complete something or make you feel complete. Or this is giving me the world, doing something for the world to see. Something that you do or something you're meant to do you, is meant to show the world. Or you could be doing, like your life could be in front of the world. I don't know. I could be t speaking to somebody in the spotlight. But it's like you're, I'm hearing your life on a platter. Or this is a, a energy that you're about to walk into, like you're being called to fame or you're being called to be seen because of your intellect because of your connection to the divine here i feel like somebody you're walking into something and you just got pregnant and you feel like it's gonna slow you down but it's actually gonna speed up things for you because this child has been working with you in the spirit realm to bring whatever this is in something about you and this going hand in hand or whatever is happening to you right now is happening right on time you and whoever this person that you walked away from that you may have got pregnant from if not physically pregnant it's like this person may have given you an idea and y'all relationship just ain't working that that person came into your life just to give you something to be birthed whether this is a physical thing or whether this is a mental thing but something came out of this situation y'all may not be together y'all may not have came together this may not have worked as a i'm hearing dynamic duo but this person instilled something inside of you that's that's going to carry you this person may even feel entitled to you once you get popping or once whatever this is come to pass or come to materialize you this person could have gave you an idea or an actual child this could even be a child that you're about to have that's being called into this energy you see what i'm saying so if you're not being caught to do something on the forefront, you're having this child because this child will be, okay? And anything you touch turns to gold. I'm hearing that. Anything you're connected to. I don't know why I'm hearing will be free. So something about freedom is very significant. Financial freedom as well. You could be receiving a whole a shitload of downloads. Or this is like incoming. This is also self-made millionaire energy. This is traveling. You may feel like something may put all of that on hold, but I feel like it's going to be the total opposite. The total opposite. And with that being said, Aries, I really love you. I appreciate you for tuning into this video. Okay, hopefully you got a message out of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.